hello welcome back to online master we have this uh, problem right here to solve this is uh, x power 5 is equal to x power 2 and so we want to find out the value of x to satisfy this equation over here okay so of course we're going to be solving okay, this but just before we continue if you are new to our channel do well to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so whenever we release new content you actually get to know about it okay and they haven't done the let us now process so the question is x power 5 is equal to x power 2 okay so what i'm going to do first is to bring x power 2 to the left hand side and if i do that i have x power 5 minus x power 2 and of course the right hand side becomes equal to zero okay so next you can see that x power 2 is common so i'm going to pull it out x power 2 and if i put it out here x power 3 will be left because if i factorize x power 2 here one will be left and is also equal to zero so here clearly you can see that using the zero product rule that x power 2 is equal to zero which of course implies that uh, uh, x power 2 which is equal to the, i can actually take the uh, square root of both sides of course this is a plus or minus okay so let me put this equality right here so that i now have that this first one this will cancel this and then x is equal to plus or minus the square root of zero is zero okay so secondly this one x x power 3 minus 1 is equal to 0 okay so you can remember that uh, if you have let's say a power 3 minus b power 3 this is actually going to give you a minus b okay and then bracket a power 2 plus a b plus b power 2 okay so i'm going to use this expansion here to actually expand this stuff i have over here so which in this case uh, my a is actually x and then my b is 1 okay so moving on i'm gonna be having that this will change to x minus one okay and then x squared minus x times one is actually x okay this is plus a b and then plus x one times one will give us uh, one of course it's still equal to zero so which implies that from here x minus one is equal to zero which of course implies that uh, x is equal to one or so i pick the second value right here which is x squared plus x plus one is equal to zero okay so which i can use the formula method of solving a quadratic equation to solve this and uh, if i do that of course you can see that a here is equal to one which is the coefficient of x squared b is equal to one which is the coefficient of x and then uh, c is also equal to one which is a constant here okay so of course our x from the formula is uh, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a okay so this is what we have and then we can just go ahead to make some substitution right here okay so we have that our x is now going to be given us minus b our b is 1 and then plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and then times c which is also 1 all divided by 2 times a okay 
and of course this is going to be giving us minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 power 2 is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1 will give us 4 all divided by 2 times 1 is 2 okay and of course this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of negative uh, 3 okay so of course we can divide it by 2 and of course we can actually write this as a plus or rather minus 1 plus or minus we can split this as root uh, minus 1 okay multiply by root 3 okay and of course minus 1 here is i okay so i now have that this is minus 1 plus or minus i root 3 okay divided by 2 sorry this is the order of this divided by 2 so we have divided by 2 right here so which implies that finally my x for here is minus 1 uh, plus i root 3 divided by 2 or uh, minus 1 okay minus 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2 okay and of course if you remember this is actually the omega and then this one we give us omega is actually omega squared okay so which we are getting from here that the five values of x which we've gotten right here that will satisfy the equation we are solving that x1 here is actually equal to zero okay and that is of course the first one we got right here uh, plus or negative zero and then x2 is negative zero okay and then of course x3 is equal to uh, this one we got over here s equal to one and then our x4 will give us this omega right here okay and then this is x4 and finally s5 is going to give us omega squared so these are the values of x that satisfy this question we are solving so if you have enjoyed this video make sure you just hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more updates and uh, make sure you share this video and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye